my name is Radha Krishnan and this is my friend Mr. Ravi Thomas. We started rowing way back in 1970s, early 70s. And um, we were in different fields earlier, but then we, we came into rowing uh, mainly because at that time the Merchants and Bankers Regatta, which is all companies, all the executives had to be given some respite from the routine. So at that time, Merchants and Regatta is the one which many companies send their people for participation. That's how we were introduced to this sport. Then it became a passion. That is, I'm talking about 1970 today. This is uh, 52 years now. We have been drawing together. And uh, now coming to the boat, you have different types of boats. Uh, this is uh, called the FOS. There is four people row in this, four uh, rowers row in this boat. And uh, this portion is the place where the coxswain sits. That is the person who has the rudder control. He controls the boat's direction. This is called rudder, but then you can call it as steering, like steering in the car. And this is the position, the one who sits opposite to the uh, coxswain is a stroke. He is the person who sets a rhythm in the boat. All the other three sitting behind will have to follow the stroke. And here, if you come here, if you can see that there is a runner, it is not like a stationary back. You have to keep moving up and down. This is called the runner, runner and this is the seat. And this position, see you have two on the stroke side and two on the bow side. So then only the boat will be balanced. So this position is called three and this position is called two and this is called bow. So there are four people who row and it's, it's all about a teamwork. All the four will have to synchronize with each other without which the boat will not be balanced. It is not like uh, a boat like Kodakanal boat or the, you know, the, the pleasure boat or anything. The moment you do something wrong, you topple in the water. So everybody will have to be together in this. And coming to the sport as such rowing, it is not a spectator oriented sport. Which is why it is not very popular, but it is rated to be the golden sport. And uh, you know, it instills a lot of discipline in the minds of youngsters and teaches them how to be fit and mentally alert and physically fit. This is a sport which, uh, which is why that it is a passion, we, are, we are passionate about it. I am I'm 80 and he is 74 and we are still at it. And I don't think we will give up this sport so long as our body, we, our body says, yes, you go ahead. Otherwise, when the body says that you are not fit enough to row, only then we will stop. Otherwise, no. So this is all about the rowing and the passion that we have towards this sport. And that's why we come every morning here, rain or shine, almost 300 days in a year, we come here and row. And we have a group of about 8 or 10 who are all in between 40s and 80s also. We form a crew, we form crews and then we row. And it, what is more, it gives us excellent exercise and we are, we are all up by about 5.36 and we come here, row and our day is made every morning. So now I'll hand over to Mr. Any yeah. interesting incident that you can recall, sir? Incident? Yeah. Yes, uh, we have uh, several uh, regattas we have attended. And, uh, you know, there, is, there are uh, regattas like uh, Madras, Colombo, which is on reciprocal ba basis. One year, Colombo will invite us to Colombo and then we invite them. That is the inter-club regatta, which is one of the uh, main events uh, in the club for many years from the British days. And then we have inter-club regattas of uh, Amateur Rowing Association of the East. All the uh, countries in the Asia, they will uh, put up crews and then it, the events will be held at Calcutta Rowing Club or Bengal Rowing Club or it will be hosted by Madras Boat Club and so on. Recently, there is another water body which has been developed uh, in Chennai, which is uh, in uh, Sri Ramachandra Medical College. There we have a, a 450 to 500 meter course. And in fact, all the children have gone there to practice and they're all rowing for the state uh, um, uh, rowing championship tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. And uh, every year uh, we go, invariably we used to go, uh, uh, we used to participate or we used to, uh, we veteran crews we participate, we make it a point to participate and uh, we go as, uh, you know, to lead the team and uh, uh, be with the crews to cheer them up.
Uh, my name is Ravi Thomas and uh, I've been rowing with my friend uh, Radha Krishnan since the 70s. We've been rowing together for over 40 years and this has become a kind of a routine for us. Every morning we land up here, either we go for a walk or get onto the ergometer, do something there. Then we get onto the boat and we do about a minimum at least about four to five kilometers of rowing every day. That has been our routine and it really helped us. I mean, at my age of 70 and his age of 80, very few people out there rowing at this age in India. Abroad, it's a different ball game. Everyone, you know, they continue rowing till they're pretty old. Anyway, so that's how we've been on our uh, rowing front. And now to explain a little bit about the boat. As uh, Mr. Radhakrishna said, this is the place where the cox the coxswain sits and the coxswain is the person who controls the movement of the boat whichever way you want to turn or you want to bring it back to the normal course because the course here is a straight course in certain places we have courses which are not straight so it is important to have a coxswain there to control the movement of the boat the direction of the boat is controlled by him and that is controlled with this rudder you can you can see the rudder turning here at the right below the boat. And then, as, as I explained, th there are four people who row in this boat, it's called the force. Similarly, they have a single skull, which is there for a, one person to row. They have pairs. Then they have eight also, where eight people sit and row. Now, in a boat, there's four people rowing, uh, have four specific positions. Starting with the bow, we have the two, then we have the three, and then we have the stroke. Stroke is the one who sets the pace in the boat. He sets the pace whether we want to row fast, or you want to row slow, or just want to glide along, because that depends. And rowing, as we explained earlier, is a very tough sport. It is not for the light-bodied and light-hearted, okay? Now, the person who's rowing sits on the seat and his feet are put into the what we call the stretcher and from there he moves up holding the oar and pushes with his feet and that power is transferred to the oar which pushes the boat along so you push the feet down completely and then again take the oar out of the water go forward fully and you come to the front stop you drop now this moment has to be aped by everyone else sitting behind you. Someone goes out of sync, the boat will start rocking. To keep the body, the boat absolutely steady, all four have to be in sync with the stroke. Okay? And the stroke has to have a steady pace so that people can, you know, picture in their mind how he's going to row and he can follow. So it's a kind of a team sport and uh, it's a tough team sport, not uh, anything that easy. So, we enjoy it. We enjoy it thoroughly. And uh, if we don't get a day on the boat, we feel there's something we have not done for the day. So, it is very important that the regularity of the sport is maintained. Otherwise, you find it tough. We take a long break, get back to the sport is very tough. So, that's how it goes on.